Hi everyone, my name is Siwen Ding, and I'll present our work demo, Speaker Attractor Multicenter One Class Learning for Voice and Spoofing. This work was done during my internship at Audio Information Research Lab, University of Rochester, with my co-authors Yeo Zhang and Zhuo Duan. This work deals with the task of presentation attack detection. Such attack usually happens before or after a sensor receives speech signals. In face of presentation attacks, a voice anti-spoofing system is used to distinguish them from bona fide speech. In this research, we mainly focus on synthetic attacks, which use text-to-speech or voice conversion techniques. The rapid development of speech synthesis technologies has brought challenges to the anti-spoofing system, since there's a distribution mismatch between the training set and the test set. To tackle the issue of unseen spoofing attacks, we need an anti-spoofing system with generalization ability. In our prior work, the one-class learning approach can be used to compact the bona fide speech representations generated by a neural network into a cluster and isolate the spoofing attacks. To train the network with the loss function of OC softmax, the margins M0 and M1 restrict the boundaries of the two classes respectively by using the similarity score between the center vector W0 and an embedding vector Xi. Comparing OC softmax to other binary classification methods, it has a relatively tighter cluster of the bona fide class, which shows more generalization ability when facing unseen attacks. However, we also discovered the single cluster of bona fide speech may naturally have multiple subclusters because of the variety of timbre and speaking traits of different speakers. Inspired by a related work called Deep Multisphere Support Vector, we noticed that compacting the naturally formed multi-clusters into one cluster might cause misclassification of unseen attacks in our case. For example, in this figure, the unseen spoofing attacks may lie in between the subclusters of the bona fide class, and these samples may be coerced into the bona fide cluster in a one-cluster learning framework. Thus, we propose speaker attractor multicenter one class learning to model speaker diversity while maintaining the generalization ability. In our work, speaker attractors refer to a speaker specific anchor in the embedding space. Mathematically, it is the average embeddings of each speaker in the bona fide speech. During training, the similarity between each sample and its speaker attractor is used to form a speaker cluster around the attractor. During inference, a similarity score between the test embeddings and retractors is used to identify spoofing attacks regardless of test speakers' enrollment. Different from OC softmax, the loss function of SAMO has multiple speaker retractor vectors W to calculate the similarity, thus forming multiple clusters of bona fide speech. However, when the sample is a spoofing attack, it will be pushed away from its nearest speaker retractor. To accomplish the objective in an optimization process, we also propose a training algorithm. After initializations, during each training epoch, we optimize the neural network by many batches using SAMO loss function with the current attractor embeddings, and we update speaker attractor embeddings according to the current network every m epochs. To evaluate our method, we use the ASV spoofing 2019 LA dataset. We keep the same splits of data, but only keep the target speakers in the development and evaluation set. In our experiments, we use ACEST as a backbone neural network for all methods and compare our proposed SAMO with softmax and OC softmax. We showed average and best results of equal error rate and mean TDCF as metrics in our comparison table. Both metrics indicate that SAMO further improves the enhancement brought by one class learning by 14% equal error rate. In the investigation of our approach, we noticed that our TSNE visualization of embeddings further support the effectiveness of our clustering representation learning idea. For example, the bona fide speech is grouped in a small region from attacks, while the three speakers are clustered respectively inside the bona fide speech cluster. Our ablation studies also show the important influence of leveraging enrollment data for speaker attractors and attractor update interval. 
These experiments showed that using enrollment data to compute attractors can generate meaningful embedding space compared to one-hot attractors. Using different update interval M, we also showed that co-optimization of clustering and attack detection is affected by this hyperparameter. An optimal interval needs to be chosen so that attractors serve as relatively stable anchors for attracting bona fide utterances and pushing away spoofing attacks at the same time. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, please visit our poster or see our paper and codes online.